Hello and welcome to another Arkeys video and to a new 2 million credit time trial challenge on Gran Turismo 7. We are at Lago Maggiore, the full layout, and we are in the newly added 2024 Afila prototype on sports hard tires. This is an electric car, no gears to worry about, it's four wheel drive, it's easy to drive. If anything, you just have to manage the understeer just as you had to do in the Skoda VDT on the previous time trial. I did an hour in this one. I haven't done more than an hour yet uh, to see how far I could get. And this is the highlights from my first hour session. If you are enjoying the content, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. It is highly appreciated. Now let's jump into this one for the first time. It's Thursday morning. I'm waiting for it to be nine o'clock so I can jump in straight away. We are jumping into the sport mode section. We are also going to pick up the price for the previous time trial. And now we are jumping in to this one. And we will use my first wobbly lap to have a look at some brake references. So just ignore the driving and let's have a look. The first reference is that last tent like thing. Shortly after that leaves your screen, it's time to hit the brakes and I clearly break too late. I missed the corner, so just ignore that. But that's the first reference. We are making our way around the first couple of corners. And uh, we've got the next brake reference coming up. This is just a lift of the throttle, trying to keep a narrow line. But the end of that orange barrier, that's a good reference to get on the brakes for this corner. You have to brake earlier than you think. It's downhill, it's off camber, it's all sorts of weird. Here I break between the yellow bit and where the white uh, stripe starts there. That seems to be a decent marker for this one. This is an awkward corner, all about trail braking. And uh, now we are coming up the hill and uh, the blue gantry is an early warning, but the start of the curb is where you want to brake. And uh, just as you want to turn in, you are coming over a slight crest, so that can throw you off. You can see I don't get the line right not even close but we are sort of trying to uh, make our way through here now we are coming up the hill just trying to go flat out and we are coming down towards banky boy and uh, the hundred board is the reference as soon as that disappears behind my rear view mirror i break i don't clearly didn't break that early on this first lap because you can see i was almost running off the track but now we're coming up the hill. I am lifting off, turning in roughly at the start of that curb and uh, no braking required here, just a bit of lifting here and there. But we are coming up towards the next braking reference. I almost lost track of where I'm going, but the end of that wall or that uh, scaffolding, that tower for the marshals there, that can be a good reference for this corner. I clearly missed the corner. Here you only need to give a slight dab on the brakes to get the car turned in for the second part. And uh, now we've got one reference to go and that is in between these two final boards on the left hand side. Roughly in the middle of those two boards. Uh, and uh, just try to find the narrow line. You can really find some grip on the inside there and power out towards the outside. This is a very slow first lap, but we just carry on. I am still braking a bit late, so you can see I am overshooting the first corner slightly, but I managed to keep the car towards the inside through this right hander, but still a bit impatient on the exit, nearly going onto the grass. You can run really wide to get a wide entry into this left hander, by the way. I'm trying to stay towards the left so I can turn in early enough for this right hander. I believe you are not allowed to hit those bullets. I haven't actually hit them yet. And uh, now through this corner, just getting the car slowed down, letting it coast in towards the apex. And I am massively overshooting this one. You can see <laughs> running very wide. So I'm just trying to salvage something. I'm still up on my time. I'm also overshooting Banky Boy again, but not as much as the first time, uh, but clearly not the best brakes uh, in this car. I'm finding a better line through these two uh, right-hand corners. Well, the first one at least, because the second one that wasn't the best, I could have caught more there and uh, that wouldn't have given me such a narrow angle through that part, but we survived and we're down to a 
and then coming into this tricky corner i am touching the grass so we are parking the car we've done six minutes now it's time to load a ghost and we go again coming in to turn one i'm still a bit hesitant on the brakes you can see i am missing the apex but at least i am being patient around this tight right hander so we don't run on the grass this time get a better exit now just lifting off using as much of the curb as i dare but i am running a bit too much towards the right hand side so that gave me a narrow entry into this corner but now we're coming down the hill we're coming in to the awkward uphill right hander we're getting the car slowed down just letting the car coast a bit and we are back on the power and you can see we are hanging on to the ghost now i am getting a uh, sort of an okay line into that one but still you can see i am trying to get the feel for this now i understeer almost run off the track uh, i used the right brake marker for banky boy this time though so we find the inside and we get a good run out of there we're coming up the hill you can see i am gaining on the ghost which made a mistake into the banked corner slight lifting here and there you sort of want to adjust the line before you get to the apex so you can get back on the power without running wide out of those corners and uh, we are making our way through the two right handers you can see you really want to use a bit more of the track between those two corners so, so you can get a good angle into the second right hander but uh, i managed it okay for now we are coming down the hill i am going to run slightly wide through the final corner so that clearly lost me some time now you can see the ghost is starting to disappear but we are down to a 218.604 so we are gaining some nice big chunks here at the start unfortunately i'm going to run wide on the following lap so we are going to just restart this one we are coming into turn one again this time i do cut a bigger chunk of that inside apex and that can give you a better line into the upcoming right hander this very tight one and uh, just watch out for the understeer as you come back onto the power just the same as with the skoda vgt just patience on the throttle i was a bit impatient there and uh, did get a sort of narrow run into that so you can see that just messed up these corners but uh, luckily for me, the rest of this lap is going to be better. Now we are coming into the awkward right-hander and we are clearly hanging on to the ghost here. Now let's try to get through the S's without messing it up, breaking at the start of the curb and get turned in early enough. You can really cut a lot through here and also cut as much as possible there. And also here you just need to keep at least two tires off the grass and then you're good and i'm also coming up the hill really trying to make the most of those track limits now we are coming into banky boy i am braking at the hundred board getting the car turned in aiming for the end of the white bit on the inside of the uh, of the curb there as my exit point and getting a good run up the hill now through these s's and uh, just trying to lift off adjust the line and get back onto the power and you can see i'm uh, doing a decent job at the moment now these corners can we get it slowed down i am starting to lose a bit there you can see i missed the apex slightly and uh, how about this corner yeah also losing a bit compared to the ghost didn't get the good line but we're down to 217.217 so we are parking the car we have done uh, 14 minutes now and we are going to load a fresh ghost and just carry on so once again we're coming into turn one this time i don't really manage to cut that much of the first apex there so i am getting a slightly tighter entry into the second part of the first corners but we managed to keep our patience with jump to banky boy doing an okay job nothing spectacular and uh, i'm going to completely overshoot this corner we can see i just missed that one and the ghost is running away from me but we managed to salvage something and at least i managed to finish this lap with a very stylish lap time unfortunately i also ended up messing up the first couple of corners on the following lap so we are just going to park the car now and go and have a look at the time as well we have done 21 minutes we are still doing okay compared to 
uh, the competitors and now we just want to get into the 216s coming into turn one taking a big chunk of the first apex this time just be patient around this following corner and uh, we get an okay exit ah, almost running onto the grass there lifting off slightly trying to keep it towards the left hand side and uh, at the orange wall end of that orange barrier we are breaking and turning into this corner now coming into the awkward right handers getting the car slowed down easing off the brakes coasting into the corner until it's safe to get back onto the power and now we are entering the s's coming up the hill are we braking early enough this time? We are getting the car turned in, taking a big chunk of that one. We also need to take a big chunk of the following one and also this one so we can stay on the power all the way up the hill because this is a long run towards Banky Boy. We need all the speed we can. We are braking at the 100 board, coming into Banky Boy. And are we getting an exit? No, I messed up the angle. I had to lift at the exit, so that was going to cost me some time. Now we are lifting slightly to just, just get the line through these S's also for this one. And uh, yeah, almost running wide there. We managed to stay on the track, braking at the end of the wall on the right hand side, getting the car slowed down. Not the best first right handle there. How about the second one? We are trying to take a big chunk so we can get an okay line through this one. I end up on the sausage curb that can unsettle the car. We are entering the final corner and we get a big chunk of the inside curb and that can sometimes help you get a good run out of there. We are going to go across the line in a 216.763 and I think we are on the following lap and I am gaining on this lap but unfortunately also losing some time uh, through the S's towards the final sector but I get a really good final corner you can see I am starting to really gain some time again towards the finish line so this is going to be a 216.568 and uh, then I am going to do some awful lines so I'm just going to park the car now and now we have done 27 minutes and uh, we just carry on and uh, we are still at it we are now about to get a very very small improvement we are about to end this lap and it's only going to be three thousands but the following lap we do get some progress so we carry on coming through turn one taking a big chunk of that one just be patient around the second one and uh, yeah we managed to stay off the grass we did lose some time there but we are going to gain it back i am trying to just get the right line through the s's this time taking the big chunks that we need there are really some crazy track limits on this track we are getting up the hill as well and uh, the time is looking good so far taking a big chunk of that one as well be careful you don't run wide on the exit the first right hander here is is all right but the second one is a bit clumsy and i am going to lose some time you can see it got a bit awkward and i have to fight the car a bit but we managed to keep it in check now we've got the final corner to go can i find the inside go on the curb and get a good exit yeah it's okay for now i am losing a bit time a bit of time compared to the previous run but uh, we are down to a 216.410 and uh, now i've got 21 minutes left of my first hour and this is actually my final run of the video and my final run of my first hour first impressions coming into turn one taking a big chunk getting the car slowed down into the second part of the first corners patient on the exit just lifting off using really a lot of the right hand side of the track there just as the ghost does and breaking at the end of the orange wall there and uh, can we get a good run down the hill maybe a bit wide you can get a bit of dirty tires i think 
And uh, yeah, I think I might have got a bit of dirty tires because the car is really understeery and that wasn't the best attempt I've done on that corner. Now we're coming into the S's and we've actually got a mistake coming up now. You can see I am missing the crucial entry into the S's because that will mess up the line for the following corners. You, see, you can see as I try to tidy up my line, I have lost a lot of time to the ghost. But we are back on full power. Now we are coming up towards Banky Boy. We are breaking at the 100 board. Can we get the line getting towards the inside, trying to use the end of the white bit for the exit? That wasn't the best job either. I'm losing a bit of time. Now I'm trying to be a bit more subtle with the throttle lifting as I come through this. I just want to keep the car steady and if you are lifting off too abruptly and getting back onto the power a bit too abruptly, you will get some weird understeer. So just try to be gentle with the throttle. We are making our way through these corners. Can we get the line through this one? I think this looks okay. Now for this left-hander, I am getting on the sausage curve there. I don't think it is a good idea. Breaking between those two boards on the left-hand side, taking a big chunk of the inside curve there. We are losing a bit of time, but now we are starting to gain some time again towards the line and this is going to be a 216.265. After this, I only managed to improve my optimum time and eventually I ended up binning it. I think I can work my way into the 215s, but my hour is up. This is 35 minutes later and uh, I think the times are in the 14s now. I haven't checked, but I'm sure they are. I still have a safe gap to the gold limit and uh, I will just leave this for a bit now and uh, see if I can do some of my other accounts as well. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it entertaining, maybe even somewhat useful. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.